We are back at Elite Innovations for phase two of this 2021 Denali build. First, uh, if you guys remember, we were here about six months ago, got the Kryptonite leveling kit put on with Fox shocks all the way around. However, in this video, what we're gonna do is I had a five inch rough country kit on my 2020 Duramax, which I've upgraded to a nine inch Mogoys. Now with that rough country kit, I've given it to my dad and we're gonna put it on this truck. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Rough Country for sending all the hardware uh, for the kit so that way we didn't have to re reuse all the nuts and bolts. We got professional scissors right there. It's gotta be pink. It's about 11 o'clock. Got the front diff out. The whole front end is apart. Ready to start putting the uh, Rough Country kit back on. That's it. So this template is available on Rough Country's website. Is that where you got it? Yeah. Check them with your instructions also. Check that out. That's legit. A lot of people talk really bad about Rough Country and I get it. Like I kind of used to as well just because they are a budget lift. But this design is non-torsion drop design from Rough Country. Zone, which is a competitor owned by BDS, they torsion drop system. And actually BDS, which is the higher quality, is non-torsion drop system. So this Rough Country kit that everybody talks bad about, it's the exact same pretty much engineering as a BDS kit. Now in terms of warranty, BDS does have no questions asked warranty, but I've been very satisfied with how Rough Country handles their warranty process as well. So if you have any issues, you can give them a shout and they'll actually take care of you as well. Also, all Rough Country parts are made in USA. It's all manufactured in Tennessee, which I am planning on making a road trip to go see the Rough Country facility. So I'll give you guys like an in-depth video on how everything is engineered and processed over there. It, everyone likes to jump on the bandwagon of being th them being one of the worst lift kits. I mean, yeah, they are a budget kit sometimes. In order to make, make it cheaper, they do engineer it a certain way, but nevertheless, it's not a bad lift kit at all. Fun fact, Rough Country hardware made in USA. Made in USA and it shows who it was inspected by. So thanks Felicia for inspecting my hardware. Thank you Connie for inspecting my hardware. And then thank you Cindy for inspecting my hardware. Almost halfway done. Got pretty much the whole front end assembled. But one thing I like to always emphasize is look at that difference. Kryptonite tie rods versus stock tie rods. They're about 360 for Kryptonite tie rods. And up uh, Elite Innovations, if you need some, you can ship it directly to you. Yeah, I mean, why not? You're lifting your truck. Those are some of the weak points on the truck, so might as well reinforce it while you're uh, while you have the truck apart. Day two at Elite Innovations, finishing up the 2021 Duramax Denali HD. Front end is all done. We even put the wheel spacers last night as well. Rear blocks and then brake line extension. We should be good. And we got to mount the Armstrong tires, 37, 12, 50, onto the Denali stocks, and then we'll be done. Rough Country Vertex shocks versus Fox 2.0. The weight difference. Yeah, so Rough Country is probably like three, four times heavier than these Fox. And I'm a, I'm a huge fan of these Vertex shocks. They ride really good. Uh, I do like the aluminum body on the Fox but they're a little too stiff for my personal liking. Let's see how well these Armstrong tires balance. These are 37, 1250s on 20 inch factory wheels. Yeah. See 
the world. Good. Dog. Not bad. Not bad for supposedly like these lower lower end uh, tires. Armstrong used to be owned by uh, Pirelli. All right, last wheel. Okay, so this one required the most amount, which was five ounces, but three ounce in the back, one ounce in the front, and then the driver's side front required only three ounces as well. So overall, these tires aren't bad at all. They ride really good too. Also, you just got set up to where you can sell Armstrong tires. So if you guys need any kind of tires and you live in South Carolina or Georgia or really anywhere near around here, Give Mondo a call or send him a message on Instagram or Facebook and then he'll get you set up with some Armstrong tires or any other kind. But I think the availability on these Armstrong tires are really good right now. And overall, I'm really happy with it. So can't go wrong with these tires. Another beautiful build finished up at Elite Innovations in North Augusta, South Carolina. Here it is. We have the five inch rough country lift that was on my truck. So we'll give you guys a full walk around. Five inch rough country lift. What we did was left the kryptonite control arms on there because I prefer kryptonite over factory control arms any day. What we did was when it was leveled, the ball joint was on the bottom. And then now because it's lifted and it's gonna be at a flatter geometry because uh, we set it truly at five inches. We didn't turn it up or anything like that. So we had to swap out the position of the ball joints. And then it's got the Rough Country Vertex, uh, Vertex Reservoir shocks. This is the non-torsion drop setup, meaning your torsion bars are tucked in. Like you can't see the torsion bars from here. Whereas zone, the design is a torsion drop design so you'll see the torsion bars dropped and uh, there's going to be like a little bracket right there so that's all of the preference uh, zone and rough country they're the same price and uh, if you like this design better then go with rough country but if you like zones design better then go with zone you can't go wrong with both kits but i really do like the vertex shocks i would really recommend it to anybody i like these better than fox these are probably I actually like these better than my Bilstein shocks and that's that's saying a lot. So we did put two inch wheel spacers all the way around so that way it gives a little bit of stance but obviously it's not too much uh, and two, two inch wheel spacers or any kind of spacers is required when you're putting factory wheels on a lift kit mainly because it'll hit your positive offset wheel will hit the new knuckle so unless you're doing an aftermarket wheel uh if you're doing an aftermarket wheel you don't need spacers but for factories you do need spacers and i always think two inch looks perfect on factory on any kind of lift kits but you can see the bracket right there that is for the non-torsion drop system 
but here is the rough country cross member overall we didn't run into any issues everything went very smooth which kind of had me concerned because you know when everything goes so smoothly something's gonna go wrong but hey everything was good throughout the whole process so oh and I uh, forgot to mention while we were there upgraded the tie rods to kryptonite tie rods 37 inch Armstrong Desert Dog MT 37 37 1250 and the reason why we got 1250 instead of 1350 is it's really all preference they do sell 37 1350 but that is really just enough width and personally my dad didn't want to do anything too wide he thought 1250s would be better than 1350 so it's all preference uh, I know a lot of people have asked why 1250 but it's just what he wanted I think the truck turned out really good huge shout out to Mondo at Elite Innovations always killing it and uh, we got it done in like a day rough country hooked us up with new hardware so it made the process a lot easier to install but yeah let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this look i actually prefer this bubba look better than my bubba look i think this is perfect but when we get home we'll compare it with my truck all right so we're headed to the alignment shop now let me tell you guys remember i had this lift kit on my last truck well having 20 inch wheels and 37s definitely make the ride quality better and truly I, I really like the ride, ride quality I, I don't know like most of the times people talk bad about rough country because it's a obviously the budget lift right I mean it's not supposed to be the highest quality lift but the ride quality on the on, on rough country is not bad yeah, people exaggerate all the time say that the ride quality is bad I, I never understood because I've had rough country kits on my trucks they've never been bad if it's bad, you're doing something wrong. But right now, what I'm noticing is this ride quality is better than when it was on the leveling kit with Fox shocks. It's a lot smoother. And the best thing about these Vertex shocks is that you can adjust the softness of the shock. So if you want it to ride softer, you can change the setting. Right now, we're at three in the front and three in the back. Uh, it's pretty soft. So if you don't like how soft it is and you can always stiffen it up to maybe about five or six but that's the beauty of these shocks and overall I'm like super happy with it <laughs> this is probably the perfect daily driver setup I I'd recommend it to anybody uh, if you want something that rides good and affordable and uh, you just want to do the simple bubble look man this this is the setup to go so I highly recommend it Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>